described three big options, um, uh, victory, uh, deterrence, and attrition. And attrition. With an adversary that has imperial designs and an adversary that is, um, uh, whose headquarters are so far away from yours, its capital, is victory Decisive victory. Decisive victory an option? We cannot do it alone. We cannot. And therefore, I think that in our modern world, where threats spread all over the world very easily, through the net, through terror cells, through the flow of you know, refugees all over the world, well, in this current world, we should cooperate more strongly than ever before. And therefore, I consider future cooperation between Israel and the United States of America as much more important comparing to anything we have in the past. Now, that leads me to my next question. There's a big debate in the United States about strategic priorities. And there are many, I mean, one hears voices all the time saying, that the main priority for the United States is terrorism, Sunni jihadism. Um, reading between the lines of your remarks, that's not quite the same prioritization that I interpret you making. Yeah, you're right. I think that all nations are on earth Thinks, think in terms of trauma. And when you have a strategic discussion with someone, you should ask yourself before the discussion start, what is shaping trauma? For, for instance, in Israel is the Yom Kippur War. Um, I think that what happened here in the United States of America is that terror becomes some sort of a monster. And I can understand why. But I want to tell you something. When I look at the threat imposed by Daesh, by ISIS, by, you know, no matter what is the term, Comparing that to the threat imposed by the Iranians, well, nothing to compare. We deal for years, for decades, with, you know, ISIS-style terrorism. I wouldn't say it's not a problem, but we managed to live with that. And when I commanded the Northern Command, and so, mainly in my in the southern sector of the Golan Heights. Uh, ISIS fighters, you know, walking along the border. So what? So they walk along the border with their Kalashnikov on the shoulder. So what? They are primitive, relatively, relatively limited capabilities, and yes, they have their own imagination and their own, determin their own determination, and it's dangerous. I admit that. But I know how to cope with that. Look at the Iranian threat. Well, I know this is just the Israeli perspective. It's much more threatening comparing to the Daesh threat because the Iranians are sophisticated. Um, they are higher form of civilization. They have a nice academic infrastructure, nice industry, good scientists, many talented young people. They are very similar to us. And because they are similar to us, they are much, much more dangerous. And therefore, I think that we cannot cope with them alone. And look at the way they operate in the region. 
in a very clever way. They try all the time to invest as less as possible. And if they have to invest, they prefer investing money, not blood. And when it comes to blood, they want to invest as little as possible and use other proxies. And if it's absolutely necessary to work with them, all right. So we should support them by military leadership, not but by warriors. That's the way they work. And from their perspective, well, it's very clever and very sophisticated. Therefore, very dangerous.